Hello there! Welcome back to Paleo Pines. I've just finished recording around 10 question mark, maybe 11 Minecraft dinosaurs, which means I get to play lots of Paleo Pines now. Well, not specifically now, but now and tomorrow. So a few episodes now and more tomorrow. But the heat is unbearable today. What's the weather like tomorrow? Why have I picked a really hot day to record? Yesterday was hot too. Tomorrow's worse. <laughs> 27 degrees celsius which means the house will be close to well in here specifically will be close to 40 degrees just end me i mean to be honest cut out the middleman there hang on a second how no that's 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 green it's, it's not albino it's just a slight green um yeah no um I, i've not smartly planned out but once again i've never claimed to be a smart man <laughs> not once I'm what we like to call a man of, I wouldn't even say mo low moderate intellect, you know, like, it, it's a polite way of saying, I swear to God, if that was a birch I just saw, it wasn't, oh thank God, I'm up to three birch by the way, oh yeah, I forgot to mention this is the first Paleo Pines episode <laughs> since the um, update that I'm recording, because every other thing I've recorded was either a showcase of the Sarcosuchus, or was a massive backlog, of which I'm still chucking through, <laughs> so... This might not be live until I expect part way through July question mark don't know but point being we are now able to hunt as part of this for Sarkosuchus which is awesome so we will spend a few episodes doing some ultra rare hunts we're just gonna be going back and forth for a little bit the objective really for me is to try and get as close to a picnic as possible because this Sunday well since past that for you um, I have got a 24 hour or a roundabout stream that I'm planning to do and so I need <laughs> to um, hopefully get as close to the picnic as possible. Just that way, when we do the 24 hour stream, I'm not going to be doing Pelu Pines the entire time. But part of it, I'll be able to go for a couple of picnics. That's the hope. I'm definitely going to need the fan in here. That is for certain. I also know for certain I'm going to be able to do... What am I doing on Saturday? I'm staying with Dad, so... Yeah, Saturday evening I can get to bed pretty late, but I can... Do whatever I want, pretty much. That's pretty good. Anyway, now that I'm finished getting distracted by distracting myself, let's just keep an eye out for any ultra rares. Uh, let's go back there. That might have been albino I spotted. Protos. No. A yellow, a peach, a peach, and I can't see what that one is behind it. Move. God damn. <laughs> Time I get up there, it's definitely moved. Yeah, it moved now. And no, is the answer. I have got a wax flower proto as well. Um, I think I ended last time saying, oh, I'm getting close to 100 Ultra. I'm at 117. Yeah, I've got a few. <laughs> to say the least. Was it 117 or was it even more? I think it was 117. So I got to 115, then I did a stream and I got two. There we go. It was two in the same day. It was a um, something compy. I think it was the Moonglow compy and another Birch Parasaur. So, yes. I'm up to three birch parasaurs. It's a lot. I'm aware. I, I wish one of them was a birch allosaurus, but hey, we can't get what we want. <laughs> so there is that. Also, that's a pure yellow megalosaurus. It's not got the red beak. The red beak would denote it being a Monday megalosaurus, but it wouldn't spawn there. It's spawn over there. Also, shout out to Mama Meerkat, also known as Meerkat. Um, this bush can be destroyed by a slasher. Meaning you can cross here, and I never ever... Was it Meerkat? I'm pretty sure it was Meerkat that told me. It might have been someone else. Actually, I think it was someone else, in which case I do apologise. Maybe it was Laura? Someone told me, and to that someone, thank you, but I also feel stupid because I am in year 17, and I only just learnt that in-game. 10 out of 10. Love it. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's not perfect for my current route, but I feel like there's another way that you could absolutely do this route. So rather than go back on yourself effectively, what you could do is I'll just do a quick showcase of the route. You'd start in the forest, you'd come here, you'd go to the centros, you'd go through there, check the stegos, do the rest of the checks, and then you'd come back anyway. And on your way back out, you'd check these guys. It's quite an effective way of doing it. I'll check the two up here as well as the three micro raptors. It is summer, so we have got a decent chance of getting trued on, but we also get an additional sarco spawn 
So that is great. So the Trudons are more likely to be in the basin. So, oh, it's flooded. Usually they're more likely. That is a cherry and a light blue in a shock to no one. I've seen that a thousand times. <laughs> Green and cream. And yes, I know it's jellyfish. And I know I've said it. I know it's jellyfish every time. But I'm just going to call it cream. It's cream colored. And thus it is cream. <laughs> the same way I know it's Troodon and not Trudon. But guess what? I'm going to say Trudon. <laughs> Oh, it's warm. Like, really warm in here. Like, hella warm. Not fun. Right, keep playing. I saved the game, didn't I? Yeah, go to sleep. Objective for this episode, I don't know, 25 minutes of ultra rare hunting. I'm going to be just start off with a couple of shorter ones, move up to like 30, 35 minutes as time goes on. Just give me a chance to build a backlog, and then once that backlog's on a steady foundation, we can take it from there. Considering I recorded 10 Minecraft dinosaurs, and I think I have like six, I'll have to check. Maybe four, actually. Paleo Pines. Um, I've still got a few more I've got to record, I think. Is that a day based one? No. I'm going to have to look at the tacos because I don't know what color that is. Um, Discord, gaming stuff, scroll up, find the spoiled image, which has got all of the different colors. Takes a moment to keep scrolling. Good lord. Have I gone past it or something? Nope, nope, it's here. I'm going to save this photo, actually. There we go. And then I'm going to go down to Tacos. So, Proto, Skelly. I've gone past it. Just a taco. Where is it? There it is. Cool. So, this is Ocean, which is a rare. Cool. It is not the day based one like I thought it was. Good to know. That is Orchid, but it is not the ultra rare variant because it does not have a white band around its schnoot, which is how you can tell. If it does, then it's an ultra rare. There you go. Nice and easy. Some colorful Staracos down there, but not a single ultra rare. That is fine. Check the snoots of these guys. They are orange. Yes. Thus, it is not Dragonfly. I'm pretty sure the color will be much more distinct, but I'm just playing it safe and playing Devil's Avocado with that. Nope. Okay. I'd love a Tam of Bloom Fairy or a Birch Aloe. The Mega Rares. I want one Mega Rare. I feel like that'd be great. But I'm being realistic in knowing that I probably never will. It's a Dragonfly Aloe, and every time I see it, I think, wow, that looks neat. Also, it's summer. There's nothing up here. Uh, during summer, I rarely go to the right because um, there's nothing, <laughs> which isn't great because it puts me out of habit. There's an Aloe over here, but you can't get Birch on it. Um puts me out of habit when we get to like Critumnus because I'm not going that way to check also Uteraptors are a no you two are a no because I'm not going to check the T-Rex and I have to go back and double check because every time I forget because I'm a dingus right we'll go this way and we will try no nope do posto spawn in Critumnus yep they do cool rust and yellow willow and yellow I don't know what the yellows are Four no's, two no's, a no, that you plus also a no, and what are the proto looking like? I see three of them, I see four of them, all of them are no. So I think we'll do a couple of episodes just back and forth, just optimising the day. Oh right, I'm stupid. <laughs> it's one more thing we haven't addressed since I last recorded. As you may notice, I don't have any poop issues, and I'll explain how at the end of the video and maybe maybe do a video on it like a how-to video because it's been a while since i've done a how-to video but it's a really important one because it has opened the game up for me like i was getting irritated by the amount of poop like oh you want more dinosaurs we'll enjoy more poop and it's like i get that but end game late game i need something to stop the poop or stimmy it or automate it and now i have a solution <laughs> And, you know, there's ways that you can head cannon it to be, like, not as evil as it sounds, you know? Because it does sound evil, you know? I stopped my dinosaurs from pooping since forever ago. What did you do? Are they going to pop? Let me actually check the Sarko first. Nope, okay. A dragonfly, I believe that was. No, no, no. Check the Microraptors. We have a peach, a noble, and a turquoise. Two different rares. 
Um, I think turquoise is rare. Uh, the sunset one that I always forget the name of for the Kano, which is lovely purple. It's supposed to be vaporwave colors. Green and orange down there. Orange with a tinge of red and a light blue for the Trudons. Yay, go me. Uh, over here we have, I think that's celery and a sherry. Um, cool. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm going to have to go back. And we'll go this way. I'm going to yawn now. Ooh, I guess my fourth yawn of the day. All four have been when I've been recording. 10 out of 10. Love that for me. Not long since I had a caffeinated drink as well. Right into... Oh, God, it's so warm in here. I'm tempted to bring the fan in here. Not to turn it on, but because it has like a built-in digital thermometer. Just so I know how badly I'm currently suffering. That is something. First off, I think after this recording, I'm going to switch from jeans to jorts. Shorts, not jorts. Jorts came to my head for some bizarre reason, but just normal shorts. Maybe even gym shorts, because they've got that nice, cooling, breathing fabric. Right, I've saved the game. Let's go to sleep. Oh, I was going to show you. Yeah, let's do a quick showcase of how I managed to get away with not giving them poop or making them poop. And then I'll um, go over in a bit more context. Let's just quickly check none of them need food currently. No. So... You may notice there's a lot of stuff on the floor. <laughs> Basically, I filled out every single enclosure with decorations to the brim. And because they've got deluxe food, they stay happy enough that it's not going to impact them. And because they're not pooping, it doesn't build up. Like, the unhappiness from too many decorations doesn't build up. A good example of that is, say, for example, Lumia. Because Lumia was never happy in the first place because of stuff like... They're not in a desert enclosure. Where is Lemire? Lemire? Where are you? Lemire's currently out of the enclosure. There's Lemire. Perfect. Yeah, see? Just happy. And it's been just happy like that for a while now. So I know for a fact it doesn't build up. I, I mean, it's been like two years in game at this point. It's been a few years in game since you last saw my progress. I know that much. That's my bad. <laughs> but I have been busy. Um... With the streams and with the massive backlog. So, you know, you, you can forgive me for that, I'm sure. And now we're rebuilding a massive backlog. I, I I can't record in any other way. Building backlogs is just so much fun for me. That is a day-based Wero. One day we'll get an ultra-rare Wero. And one day we'll get an ultra-rare Stego. And I'll have the complete Infinity Collection. For now, I'll take anything I can get. Apart from the Desmo, please. Gods. And a Corythosaurus because I have enough of them. And they are a nightmare to tame. And maybe not a birch parasaur because I'm starting to feel like they're losing their luster. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm good on that front. No. One, two, no. I'd even take it like a freaking portals parasaur. Like, a new one is great. Like, I don't mind it having another ultra parasaur. It's just the same colors over and over. <laughs> it kind of drives me crazy. <laughs> uh, crazier. Nothing up there, cool. Right, so the, the Utahs, we have an orange and a blue. Navy blue as well, which is nice. And we have a blue and a tyrant. Both of which are very lovely, because Masako is awesome. But I would like an ultra-rare por favor. The Metrodons are a no. These three are a no. Ooh. The tyrant is criminally underrated, and I can't wait for it to get become an ultra-rare. Probably in the future, I hope. Please. Like the... I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm going to be very, very passive in the way I say it. But, like, the Sarko Ultra Res, I know all four of them. And two of the Ultra Res, obviously, Albinistic and Melanistic. And I know that the four is the amount it's actually got. So it's four of four I'm talking about here. The other two are Ultra Res on other creatures as well. So it's not got a unique Ultra Rare. So Silver, no. Tyrant, no. Um, I feel like in the future, I, I hope... The Sarko gets more ultra rares because it needs a, you know, some more to be buffed, um, to buff it out and to bring the numbers up to others that have got more than enough. Um, and I really hope, well, it can't be Silver and Tyrant for obvious reasons, but we do get some other color color crossovers. I feel like Black Cherry would go so hard, just throwing it out there. I know it would then unlikely, uh, unfortunately, most likely be locked to the forest because it's um, a 
I think it's based to be based on a ghetto of some description, but I'm not too sure. But I wouldn't mind it, you know? Gosh, it's so warm. That's the third one of you. Come on. There, yellow. Cool. <laughs> Wait a second. You know what? Yeah, yellow. Uh, for some reason, I processed one of them as a noble, and I was like, that's an ultra, <laughs> and it's not a noble. It's not. I'm going to have to take a break after an episode or two of this, I think, because I am a freaking boiling. So I might just go sit in front of the AC for a minute or two. We have a turquoise and a green and a noble. Nice and easy to spot. Over here is a big fat nope down there. We have an orange and a light blue. I forgot to check the Sarko, so I'll just check these guys. That's a light blue, isn't it? That is a light blue. Yes, it is. You had to go in the shadows so I could actually see that you were a light blue guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. That light blue will be the end of me. Right, let's go check over here. I do need to check the compies, but we'll check them this way out. That is a blue Sarko. And we'll check the compies on the way out because I can. That'll be about here. And we have a green and I don't know what the other one is. Maybe a willow pattern, I'm not sure. Not too sure. It is warm in here. I won't stop moaning about it. It is my right as a British person to moan about the weather. <laughs> and it's my right as someone who literally dies in the heat because of a genetic disposition to moan about the heat. Like, good golly. Right, write in diary. Keep playing. Go to sleep. Yeah, I forgot to take a break after this. Sit in front of the AC. Change over to shorts. Oh, it's going to be magical. <sighs> or maybe even like loose pajama bottoms. Oh, that, that sounds like bliss right now, actually. And fly by. We are onto a new day. Seeds have dropped, but I don't care about that. Uh, Avery's budding day. <gasps> Wait a second. That's one thing I care about. Avery's budding day. You might be going, oh my god, are you finally going to focus on becoming friends with Avery? No, it's the lucky taco. Let's do a couple of rings around the roses. You're going to bring me immense luck. I feel it, Mr. Lucky Taco. You've got to give me something. It's the rule of exchanging. Like, were they the exact same tacos there as well? Three cherries or orchards, I don't know. That must be a good omen. Today I'm going to find a Melanistic Trudon or an Ultra Rare Wero or an Ultra Rare Stego. Okay, not to the Wero. Ultra Rare Stego or Sarko, maybe. <laughs> Take a Trudon. Melanistic preferable. Anything else, also awesome. Oh, that is a Cherry Patch Cephalosaurus, which is not an Ultra Rare. Although, I don't see it too often. Three, no. Where's the second one of yours? There, Dragonfly. Sort of mintish colour. Over here is a big fat nope. That's fine. Where's the Ankylos? One and two. My PC's getting warm. I can feel it. I'm pretty good to just give it a rest as well, to be honest. Especially in today's heat and tomorrow's heat's not going to be any better, so it's going to be an ordeal either way. If I can get a couple more done today, then what I can do is get as much done tomorrow and I might have to spread it out to maybe Thursday as well just for heat's sake because I'm dying <laughs> like legitimately um I think it's it's fair if I do it that way because I, you have to adjust in these situations and I'm willingly going to having recorded over four days is a lot don't get me wrong I usually like having two or three but I'll settle I'm absolutely fine with four it's absolutely fine by me one two three four no no. 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 The day isn't over yet. We could still find an ultra rare. I, I, you know, I, that lucky taco should come into effect either today or tomorrow in game. I'm hoping today. But yeah, what I'll do is after I'm finished recording this episode, I'll close down Paleo Pines because it'll give my chance for my GPU, my CPU, everything's just come to a cool... Uh, the GPU is obviously fan cooled, but it's incredibly well radiated, whereas the CPU is um, AIO, so it'll be cool within 10 15 minutes at most. Because it is a good AIO for a, the, the um, CPU, it is as well, so might be slightly overkill, but who knows. Right. I am, t I am very curious to see what the temps are, though. I can do that by going into um, Task Manager, so I will do that after this. Down here? No. Oh my good golly. I feel like there's like a full-on veil of sweat over me. 
we'll get through tomorrow at least for this episode one two that's the third cool and then we'll um end it we'll get through tomorrow i can do it i believe in myself over there let's get the start sarko the one i'm most excited about no uh trudon maybe Check the micro raptors we have a green a noble and a honeysuckle a red carno four kentros of Thing of note. Did I check the T-Rex? I can't remember checking the T-Rex today. I remember going that direction, but I don't remember checking the T-Rex. Bit weird. Uh, that was two no's on the compies with green, which is a celery, and the pink, which I forget. I remember checking you guys. Not you. Okay, cool. Let's just say I'm baking is an understatement. Also, when I do my stream this week, on Sunday, I think I'm just going to have the AC running pretty much upstairs just feeding into here like i won't actually have it in here but i'll have the door open the entire time for nimbus so it'll be like feeding in i'm also doing another loop i don't need to do that i finished i have finished let's act accordingly please i don't know where this is going to lead me out i'm hoping it's near the entrance it is sick um so yeah it'll be good because i definitely need the cooling situation sorted because i'm warm so if that's the case, that tomorrow I'm just not going to um, get up too much in terms of recording due to the heat. I should be all right to maybe have a bit of a later night tonight. Should be nice. Right. Right, diary. We'll see how far I can get into recording for a bit, though. And we'll go to sleep. One more day. I'm going to take a quick drink of water. Usually wait until after the video, but I think I can get away with it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's a reason I don't drink. It's because I don't sit at an optimum drinking angle. I've just spilt half of it into my moustache. Tell you what, though. It does cool down the uh, upper lip a bit. That's nice. No one's unhappy, meaning they're not out of food. At least not yet. <laughs> I do need to do another food run in the future and earn some money to do so. So let's keep that in mind. Right, over there, there's nothing. Over here is out right cool a second we are already up to the 12th that is pretty good going we're getting to Critumna soon which of course means we lose out on a sarco chance and you know numerous trudon checks because of water being literally everywhere but we do get an additional additional t-rex check now usually i would be elated about that but i really don't want to die at the hands of tyrannos so <laughs> Like that, let's just hope all my luck gets consumed in Jurassos with a Mega Rare or a, um, a Sarko, preferably. Uh, although a Mega Rare like a Birch, it's the Tamabloom Fairy. I think I'll get murdered by Meerkat. A Birch Aloe Dano will kill me. So, yeah. Also, don't forget that the Aloe out there and the Fairy out there can have ultra rares that are not the birch during the specific or the tamar bloom during summer so you could end up still not getting the one you want but you could get an ultra rare which is wild to me genuinely wild like that's so painful nope okey pokey uh i've already checked the raptors up top there is a white not a light blue and those four over there are also a dud. We're okay with that. All I need to do now is finish off the forest and I can wrap up the video. Oh my goodness, that'll be great. Oh, because the heat is getting to me, chief. It's definitely heated up in the last couple of hours, I can tell you that much. Probably because the PC's been running non-stop, so it'd be good to give it a rest. Over here we have four, and they are all... Hey, no! Megalosaurus, Rust, nope. Just a second one of you, right there. Blueberry Muffin and a Orchard or Cherry. I think it's Cherry, that one. Got an itchy nose. Uh, there was a Sunflower back there and another one, I can't remember, but... Oh, so far. Ah, no. Uh, we have Rust, Cherry, and Blue. So, three a big fat nopes. Let's go check the Sarko, dip back out, and do our normal check. Like so. 
Oh, no. It's a dragonfly. Uh, where's the second one he is? Oh, back there. It's blue. Uh, honeysuckle. Honeysuckle. Where's the third one? Here. I don't think the lucky taco has been that lucky this year. Big shame, that. It's flooded down there. Wisteria and light blue. You can tell by the schnoot if it's not albino. Even if it's in the light or shadow and it doesn't work quite well, you can still see by the schnoot. And a cream and a cream. So I think this is a great place to start wrapping up the video. If you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure to do some hoosh the like button down below. If you want to be subscribed, you can super duper appreciate it. I'm going to go and cool down. Couldn't even think of the words. That's how warm I'm getting. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice day and ta -ra.